Hi guys, so I am getting ready to install a unit and uh, it's already been pre-cut and everything. I wore it actually yesterday, but I did not come in and show you guys how I applied it. Now, of course, you guys know full lace wigs, you can apply it with just gel and this is one of my favorite gels to you so that's how i'm going to apply this unit so if you're interested then of course continue to watch i lost my wig oh here it is <laughs> this is the unit that i'm getting ready to apply it's a full lace wig has the um adjustable strap in the back okay has combs in it as you can see i do not need the combs like that like that has the stretch panel <coughs> and then of course you have all the lace like a lace frontal in the front all right and like I said I have worn this unit already so I've already cut it and everything the color on this is a 1b with two um, or is it four highlights okay and so as you can see it does have some beautiful highlights in it it is supposed to be yakky in texture but I purchased this and the hair is not quality hair I mean it does tangle quite a bit but these companies you guys they have been um, hit very hard because of the pandemic and a lot of people are not doing, a lot of vendors are not doing custom units right now. And so I was in uh, dire need of a wig for a customer. And I went there to purchase it, but the hair quality was just not up to snuffs. All right, so as you can see, I cleaned around my hairline. I haven't shaved my head in a while. I think it's been about two and a half to maybe three weeks since I've shaven and uh, yeah so you're getting me all natural so I'm just going to throw on a stocking cap this one of course is very light all right now we're gonna try it on with the wig You really have to kind of guess at how long or how short a time to um, bleach your knots. So my knots are a little bit over bleached, especially in the front. I try to do the front last because, of course, they are single knotted uh, most of the time and um, doesn't require as longer time to bleach. All right. So now that you know all of that information, I'm going to go ahead and put on my gel. You guys see my children in the background. They are visiting here for the holidays. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna push this back. So for my customer, I do have a custom unit on order for her from the very first vendor that, um, the very first wig maker that I went to. However, she wanted the hair to be a little longer. And so anyway, um, I reordered her unit. And so we're just waiting for it to come in. And, uh, I'll probably end up selling this unit so if you're interested in it like I said it is not the highest quality of hair because it does tangle but uh, it is still a beautiful unit still wearable now what I'm doing is you guys see how my I'm putting some of the gel in my hair as well because this part by the ears kind of taper off like so. I'm 
and I'm going to do that on both sides. And now I am, I know a lot of people blow dry, but I don't. I just want to pull it forward into my gel and lay it down. And you see this piece is going cut away from my ear. Another reason I didn't shave is because I wanted some of my little fuzz hair to be around the ear area. And give it a more realistic look. And then I like to pull some of the wispy hairs in the front around the lace part of my unit so that you don't see the edges of the lace. I don't really do the baby hairs. Just think that's a little bit much for me. And I'm just going to tie it up and let it dry. Just going to wrap this around. And there we go. And then I'll come back. Always one string of hair, right? Then I'll come back and show you guys how it looks after it's been dried and everything. So stay tuned. So I decided to put on a little makeup today. We're supposed to go to a friend's house for some cocktails later on this afternoon. This is the application. Just going to go around my hairline with my makeup brush. Now you can still see the little band of my wig cap, but I'm going to take my infallible I think this is like a powder. Yeah. And that tones that down just a tad. There. And I've had this forever. This is called Infallible Smoky Is Me. It's a powder eyeliner pen. 